Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I'll be talking about univariate analysis and I'll and also be showing you how to do univariate analysis using R. Uh, so I, I'll be showing you how to build a function uh, where you can uh, do univariate analysis uh, for both categorical and numerical variables, assuming that your data set, uh, your data set is clean, of course. So uh, Univariate analysis is a very important uh, you know, statistical analysis that is done uh, you know, on a single variable. It's basically a, a, some sort of a descriptive analysis. Uh, it's uh, an important part of the exploratory data analysis process. Uh, whenever you have a data set and you want to you know, do some sort of a prediction modeling or uh, you know, some sort of classification or something, you need to make sure that you, know, you have done univariate analysis as part of your EDE. So what exactly does univariate mean? A univariate is nothing but uni stands for one, a variate stands for variable, and it's it just summarizes data and finds a pattern associated with the variable. So for example, you have a list of patients and you want to just check out the blood pressure, distribution of the blood pressure using histogram, box plot, and whatnot. So uh, that's how you uh, you know you can do a univariate analysis uh, of a single variable. That is here in this case, it's blood pressure. So let's go to, to the R module and uh, you know see how we can. Right, so this is the R console. So let me just uh, you know uh, quickly show you what I've done here. I've already written the code so that you know you can uh, we don't have to spend time in, in writing the code from scratch. So here uh, I've just taken two two data sets for comparison for both numerical and categorical variables. I mean the universal analysis of numerical and categorical variables. So here I'll, I've taken the Boston housing inbuilt data set, which is there in R. And uh, say, I mean, this is how the data set looks. And say if I want to do univariate analysis on ZN, which is basically the proportion of residential land. So for that, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm just going to write, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to check a box plot and a histogram for four two, And I'm going to sort of separate that using a par function, which will, you know, sort of separate that in, uh, it'll actually divide, you know, the the graphs which we have. I'll, I'll just show you how that works. Let me just uh, run this code. Right, so as you can see, it's dividing into a one cross two matrix. And here, this one cross two represents that. And we have, uh, you know, box plot of the ZN variable which I was talking about, which is the proportion of zonal land. Uh, and uh, yeah, so here uh, we can see, you know, there are, there are a lot of numerical variables. But what about categorical variables? So I've taken another data set that is the Iris data set. This is how it looks. So here we have like, uh, you know, uh, a, a one category variable, a categorical variable called species. And uh, here for, for categorical variables, uh, a bar plot would be, uh, you know, the most appropriate way to do a univariate an analysis. So let me just run this. So you can also do a, a pie chart, uh, but I prefer a bar plot. I, and as you can see, the count of, you know, each, uh, you know, flower, uh, I mean, uh, and each species, you know, that that's there is here. Okay. So, uh, let me just show you the function now. I'm just going to clear all this. Right. So here I've just underlined a task that is to create a function that will do a descriptive univariate analysis, uh, to each variable that is both categorical and numerical. And we will store this uh, function in, I mean, we'll store the graphs that we got after running this function. In a particular directory okay so i've just written this function i'm just going to quickly run you through the function it's a very simple function uh, here uh, I've, I've named the function as graphs and i've given it three arguments uh, data uh, variable uh, which will run through the number of columns in the data from one to the number of columns in the data and i've just assigned a directory which is you know the f uh, the from directory like it's it's an empty folder as of now uh, in my desktop and uh, here, uh, you know, I've just set a working directory and, uh, you know, I've just done all those uh, things where we need to, you know, uh, get a working directory. And uh, here, uh, if the, you know, the given data is not a data frame, it's going to throw, it's going to straight away stop the function and saying that, you know, the object is not a data frame. And uh, in case it isn't, it's going to proceed further and it's going to check if it's a numeric data and it's going to print the box plot and the, uh, and the histogram, like it's going to, uh, create the box plot and the histogram and it's going to store that in in jpg format in the in this particular directory okay it's going to store that in jpg format in this particular directory okay and uh, if it's not 
a numeric variable it's going to uh, print a bar plot of it and again it's going to uh, you know store that in this particular directory as well okay so let me just uh, just, let me just run this entire thing right, okay, and I'm just gonna open the from okay great right so as you can see you know there's uh, uh, there's a lot of you know variables that are here I mean sorry, a lot of graphs that are here uh, all one cross two graphs it would have been better if there were two cross two graphs I know uh, but you know you can see that this is a good way to to understand each and every variable in R um, and yeah I'm sure this function will be useful for you so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did uh, you know do give it a thumbs up and if you have any query um, you, know, you can just leave it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to address it so thank you very much and until next time uh, cheers